Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgzk.com. Welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the rotate tool. Let's create a box to start. Uh, I'm going to just create a box like this and set the dimensions to 20 by 50 by 5. And let's hit W and right click on these spinners to center this box. And now to go into the rotate tool, I'm going to hit E from the keyboard or you can just click on this select and rotate command or tool from here. Okay. As you can see, we have three X size we can rotate the object around. And also we have a fourth circle in here, which represents the axis that's normal to the camera. And I'm going to show you what these do in a minute. And also like in the transform or the move tool, you can change the values from here as well. Uh, let's play with these circles a little bit. If you click and hold and drag to one of these circles, you will see that I can rotate the object around that circle or that axis, whichever way you want to see it. And also you can type in some values in here to rotate an exact values. For example, I can just type in 45 in here. And as you can see, it's 45 degrees rotated around the X axis. If I right click here, I can just zero this out again or bring it to the minimum value in this case, not minimum, but let's say zero out. Okay. And also you can do this rotation around other exercise as well. Uh, the Y axis, the Z axis. And also, as I told you, the fourth circle, let's see what that uh, does. I can just rotate it around the camera uh, point of view. I guess uh, we could call it that, but it rotates the object around the axis that's normal to the camera. Okay. It's think of a ray that's shooting from the camera to the object or to the box and you can rotate this around that uh, ray okay if i hit ctrl z or undo you can undo these uh, actions of course i want to talk about a, a snap tool uh, which we will go in more depth or talk about more in later tutorials but in this lesson i still want to talk about that snap tool because it's uh, working so well with the uh, rotate tool so whenever we want to rotate something we usually enable the angle snap tool which is the shortcut is a and you can see that it's in here as well you can just click on this uh, to activate it and also you can right click on this to go into the settings of the this tool usually like i guess 75 percent of the time you really want to use rotate with this snap tool and under options you will see uh, there's an angle snap in here and it, uh, it says five in here in this box that means that if this is activated whenever you rotate something it will rotate steps of five degrees uh, let me show that to you you can read the value in here or you can read the values in here you can see that it always go uh, five and multiplies of five angles as you can see it's like 5 10 15 20 and so on okay if you want to rotate this 90 degrees for example it's really easy now you can just rotate it 90 degrees like this and you know that this is exactly 90 degrees okay otherwise if this is not activated it's a guessing game and it won't work in 3ds max be careful about this stuff this rotating things without uh, angle snaps or moving things without snaps can cause you a lot uh, later on in the pro level uh, you usually don't use these things because your eye will be enough to decide the angles of things or decide the approximation of things but at the start level i really recommend you to use these snaps and stuff okay thanks later on you can again zero this out from here as well as you can see if you just by mistake did this for example and you want to set this to exactly 90 degrees you can write down uh, from here but uh, sometimes you when you rotate this multiple times you lose these angles so again be careful about not using snaps i guess so these are the tools for rotation and also one more thing as in the translate option i don't really use this that much but i anyways want to show you because i want to show you how under the hood of max also works if you right click on the rotation you will get this type of window again just like in the transform or the move tool and you can type in numbers in here again uh, like in here and if i just type in 90 degrees in the x-axis for example it will rotate 90 degrees in the x-axis and also we have the offset world in here as well. If you uh, type in 45 in here, you will see that it rotated 45 degrees, but it's zero in here again. This is an incremental value. If you uh, type in something in here, it, it will offset the current rotation with the number you just put in. Uh, like let's say 15, you will see that when I hit enter, this value will change to 60 because it will add this value to the 
X rotation. As you can see, it's 60 and it's 60 degrees rotated. And you can see the same value in here as well. I can right click again. And also to get into this offset world, you can just click here once as well. This is the offset coordinates now. I can type in 15. And when I hit enter, you will see that it's zero again because it's again incremental values or whenever you type in something in here, it will add to the current X rotation. But in this mode, as you can see, you won't be able to see the absolute value. So you can zero this value, for example. If you type in zero, nothing will happen because again, this is to add to the current values. Okay, so uh, let's hit Ctrl Z and try to uh, do something more interesting. Let's make this a little bit thinner. Let's, sorry, keep that at 50. Uh, change this to five, for example. Let's make a thinner box, maybe even two by two. Uh, now what I want to do is to create copies while uh, rotating this, okay? I'll hit A again to enable the angle snap and I will hold shift and rotate this around the Z axis. Let's say 20 degrees for now, for example. If I release now and hit OK, uh, just uh, look at the selections I made. It's in copy mode and also the number of copies is set to one. If I hit OK, you'll see that we have created only one copy of this. I'll hit Ctrl Z again. And if I hold shift and again do the same thing in like minus 20 degrees, uh, let's change this number in here. Let's say type in four in here. It will create four copies this time and you will see that we have something like this. Okay. And as you can see, you can also use the clone tool or the copy tool while rotating as well. This uh, holding shift thing is like works very well and you can use it with most of the transform tools. Uh, let's uh, undo these again. I want, let's say I want to create an exact 360 degrees copy of this line or a box. Let's rotate it like each rotation will have 15 degrees in between. Let's calculate the number of objects we have to create. Let's, let's try it. Uh, I will just do it 15 degrees. I will release it. And if I type in eight in here, no, <laughs> it's hard to, <laughs> do math while uh, telling something, I guess. And I also, I'm not talking my native tongue. Let's increase this value, let's say 12. But as you can see, Max gives you the opportunity to undo. So always just go ahead, uh, type in some number and then add or subtract from that value, I guess. Everything seems cool. The 12 seem to work, but there's one problem. Because we have created 12 copies now, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, I start counting from here, uh, so that's 11. And if you type in 12, it will create an extra copy on top of the original box. If I delete this now, we will have one of each, okay? So what we needed to do actually is type in 11 in here. So don't count the start starting box. That's very important while doing these copies. I guess we uh, learned this in the previous lesson as well. And as you can see, you can create these um, 360 degrees uh, copies of any objects. The Actually, the last thing I'm going to talk about in this lesson is uh, the pivot point. With rotation, the pivot point is really important because as, as you can see, the object orbits or rotates around that pivot point, the base point of the object, let's say. And uh, you can manipulate uh, or change the pivot points of these objects. And it's under the hierarchy tab in here and it's in here effect pivot only again we will talk about this more and more in the upcoming lessons but let's anyway see uh, how this works in this lesson and have a basic understanding of the, of the pivot point that's very important now let's say we want to create those copies again around this point of the box okay the base point the end tip of the box what I want to do is I will click Effect Pivot Only. I'll hit W to go into the Move tool. If you click on the Effect Pivot Only, it will only move the pivot point of the object, not the object itself, but the center point or the base point or the pivot point of the object. So let's move and see what happens. You can see that we have these weird things around the original gizmo we had. This means that the pivot point will move, not the object. If I just move it, as you can see, the pivot point moves, but not the object again. And I'll move this to the tip of the box. And if I disable this, then everything will go back to normal. Uh, so now you can rotate this box around that point. Okay, this is very cool and very important tool to use. 
And of course we did this eyeballing, but you should use snaps or align tools. Of course, I'm going to show you in a minute as well, uh, show that to you in a minute as well. But first let's do it like this. Now I can just hold shift, rotate it 15 degrees and type in 24, for example. I guess tw I should type in 23, no, whatever. And you can see that the <laughs> I can just delete the last one. And you can see that we created a different shape or different copy array, let's say, of the box. And I will undo this. And again, I will hit undo one, once more to get this to the center point. And I will show you how to do this with align. I can just effect pivot only again. Hit align from here. We have learned this uh, in the previous lesson. And I will choose the object itself. That way it will select the pivot point of the object and you can move it anywhere you want. Let's say I want to move it in the x-axis and I want to move it to the minimum point. And you can see that it will instantly uh, get that pivot point to that minimum point. And I can just hit effect pivot only again to close that up. And now I can just rotate it around this point. Okay. And I know that it's exactly the bottom of the box there. Okay, I want to go in more depth, but let's leave something for the <laughs> upcoming lessons. Uh, for now, uh, let's leave it at that. And this is Rotate tool. It's very useful. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about the Scale tool. I hope you find this useful. If you find this useful, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and also please activate the notifications with the hitting that bell button near the subscribe button. See you in the next lesson.